We are just transitioning to the next generation science standards and one of the big things that we've been working on is like leading off units or activities or labs with some sort of scientific phenomenon. Um, so some sort of observation the students could make in the natural world and often in our classrooms it's like a little snippet of a video or like in a chemistry or physics classroom might be a demonstration. Um, but being here this week it was like we were living these phenomena. Uh, and the like Galapagos tortoise was right in front of us and we were swimming with marine iguanas and the excitement that you get when you're actually seeing these things that you've only ever seen in videos um, kind of brings it to this whole other level of appreciation and understanding um, and so what I'm thinking about now is how do I transfer that kind of feeling into my classroom and into like for my students um, and how can I give them those like formative experiences outside um, that'll really spark their interest in science because uh, I think when every student walks into the science classroom their definition of what a scientist looks like is often really different from what they look like um, and one of my goals is to have them walk out of the classroom knowing that they're a scientist uh, and so a lot of the things we did this week with the students from the Mola Mola Eco Club um, is something that I would love to bring to my classroom, giving students kind of ownership over um, some sort of conservation effort, whether it's in the school or in the community, um, and just giving them the opportunity to collaborate with people that do this as a profession and know that you know science isn't just something that's done in a lab, but it's something that they can be doing um, outside and it's something that they can be doing as citizens and participating in citizen science. So I liked all those opportunities where you know we were doing small little bits of data collection that were then going to be become a bigger part of, you know, like information that's going to help kind of inform conservation on the Galapagos.